Justice Department investigators are focusing their probe into Representative Matt Gates, RFL, and an associate on whether the politicians took ecstasy with and paid women for sex, the New York Times reported Thursday evening, deepening the allegations against the embattled lawmaker. I have definitely, in my single days, provided for women I've dated. You know, I've paid for flights, for hotel rooms. I've been, you know, generous as a partner. I think someone is trying to make that look criminal when it is not," Gates told Axios this week when the allegations first surfaced. Not only has Gates denied any sexual misconduct, he has also muddied the allegations by claiming he and his father, Don Gates, were the victims of a $25 million extortion scheme. According to documents published by the Washington Examiner, Former Air Force officer Bob Kent and real estate developer Stephen Alford approached Don Gates this month and asked for money to fund their search for former FBI agent Robert Levinson, who disappeared in Iran during a 2007 CIA mission. The men argued that Levinson's safe return could curry favor in the Biden administration and help his son's case, which had been ongoing for months. Instead, Don Gates reported the overture to the FBI which launched a separate investigation that involved putting a wire on him.